Are you getting ready to buy or sell a home? There's several changes as a result of the NAR settlement that you need to be aware of first. And what are those changes? Well, we're gonna talk about it today and it starts right now. Welcome back to Real Estate in the 757. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I like to head on all things real estate in our area of Hampton Roads. Today we're talking about the NAR, the National Association of Realtors Settlement. So what's changed? Well, first up, let's talk about what this means for the seller, but buyers, don't worry, I'm gonna come your way next. So the biggest change for sellers is that now your agent can no longer put into the MLS whether you are offering compensation for the buyer's agent or not. It can't be in the MLS anywhere. It can't be written into the public remarks or the agent remarks. It can't be in a document that's attached to the listing and it 100% can't be written in some sort of code to even hint at what you might be offering. However, you can still offer compensation and you can discuss what to offer or not offer with your agent. That's for you to decide with them. It just can't be in the MLS. So can your agent market it in other places? Absolutely. Agents can post it on their website, social accounts, and they can even include it on their flyers when marketing your home. They can add a writer to your for sale sign that says buyer agent compensation negotiable. I love this idea. It lets people know that you're willing to discuss it without showing all your cards up front. It's a make me an offer and we'll discuss it kind of a mood. I think that's just brilliant. Should you offer compensation up front? That's for you to talk with your agent about. Ask their opinion and discuss the pros and the cons. Obviously, net proceeds from the sale of your home is very important, but there are many things that make an offer great or just so-so, and it might have absolutely nothing to do with what type of compensation a buyer is looking to have a seller contribute to. This is why it's crucial for you to have a pro behind you who can negotiate the terms of the contract in your best interest. Even if you as the seller are adamant that you don't want to offer any compensation for the buyer's agent, you need to prepare yourself that more than likely they're going to write that into their offer. Have your agent run the net profit sheets with various scenarios so you aren't caught off guard. If you think that this NAR settlement means you won't have to pay a buyer's agent compensation, you're missing the point. While it's not going to be in the MLS, that doesn't mean it's not going to be brought your way as a term in the offer. Think of it similar to when a buyer asks the seller to contribute to their closing costs, right? So just be prepared. Be sure you have a pro who understands this inside and out. So interview those listing agents. If you're looking for one in the 757, give me a call. Absolutely love to meet up in person and discuss. And if you're looking for an excellent agent in your area but don't know of anyone, I have some of the best networks all over the country. Just reach out and I'll get you connected with someone in your area. All right, buyers, I told you I wasn't going to forget you. So the biggest change for you is that you now need to sign a buyer broker representation agreement before going to see any homes. Yep. You heard me correctly, before you go out to tour any homes, you have to sign something first. This establishes the relationship between you as the buyer with the agent who will be representing you. And it also establishes upfront what those agent charges are gonna be and what those cover. Now, I know what you're thinking, but how will I know my agent is truly a good fit for me before we even go out to see homes? And that's very valid because there's a good possibility you won't have previously known the agent you want to use. Most of the time, my buyers are new clients that I didn't know ahead of time. I get a lot of referrals and also gain buyers through this channel from people relocating here. So your concern is very valid, but there's a great solution so you don't feel like you're stuck in a binding contract before you even know if you like your agent. On this form, you're gonna enter in the dates that the agreement covers. So instead of writing in a long range of time, such as three to six months, perhaps you write in for a day or just a week. If you wanna get super specific, you can write that it's only good to see a specific property. That means you'll be signing multiple ones each time you go out, but that's completely fine. You determine what you're comfortable with, but use this in your favor to get to know your agent and determine if you indeed do trust them and want to use them long term. Trust me, if you decide after a few times of seeing homes with your agent that y'all just aren't a great fit, more than likely your agent is feeling that way too. So you just write up an addendum to end the representation agreement and you both go your own ways. Newsflash. All agents are not alike. Some are full-time agents, some are not. Some work incredibly hard, 
Some not as much as we would like. <laughs> some are easily available and reachable. Some are not. Some create raving fans, go above and beyond, and just some don't. All right, hopefully you're getting my point. It takes time to truly see and experience the value your agent brings or doesn't, especially when you're beginning a new relationship. So write into that agreement the time you're comfortable with during the early stages of getting to know one another. What I do love about this buyer broker agreement being signed up front before you ever step foot into a home is that it's going to help you see that you and your agent have a relationship and it's two-sided. It's a two-sided commitment. And to recognize that your agent isn't free, both are equally important to recognize. I recommend doing this buyer consultation up front with all my new clients. It gives me a chance to go over the home buying process and to also go over my professional service fees, what those fees cover, and also what my commitment is to my clients. You don't have to sign anything to schedule a consultation or talk with an agent. The last question I know you probably have is, but I can't afford to pay that fee. It took me a while to save up for the down payment. I'm not even sure I can cover all of my closing costs. So how can I make my dream of buying a home a reality? You're simply going to negotiate those fees into the contract. Those agent fees become a term to your contract and are negotiated in with your initial offer. It's really no different than working with a buyer who needs closing cost assistance. In the same way that you can negotiate closing cost assistance within your offer, now you can negotiate the compensation to meet your obligations with your agent. Just offer it and put it all into the offer. And don't worry, just because you need additional financial support does not mean that you can't write up a competitive or strong offer in other ways. Again, you need that pro who can help you do all of the above. You, in essence, are the one giving them the ability to make a profit from the sale of their home so that they are able to then pay out the compensations as agreed to within the contract. The main takeaways from all of this, whether a buyer or a seller, is to do your due diligence in seeking out a pro who can work for your best interests. Ask them what makes them unique. Ask them for testimonies. Ask them about their ongoing education and trainings that continue to keep them a cut above the rest. And if you still have questions, hey, I'm here. Let's grab coffee or schedule a Zoom call. If there's anything that you need, let me know. I love building these relationships. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any real estate needs, whether now or in the future, I'd love to connect. Give me a call, text, or email. Until next time.